Range fans, you're going to want to stick around. Christensen Arms, just back from the factory at the 100-yard line. Coming up next. Hard hitter. Welcome, Range fans. Mr. Revolver Guy here with DayAtTheRange.com. Range fans, Reloaders Network and Rimfire Central. You see the Christensen Arms Ranger 22 back on the range with me today. But you see a little something different. That different is different scenery. Different scenery means different range. That's right, we're on the 100 yard line. And today, you know all about it if you've seen some of the previous videos that I'll link up here. But uh, the Christensen Arms, out of the box, gave me some troubles with ejection. I called Christensen Arms, very nice people. They said, send it back. We want it back. They took the serial number. They paid for the shipping. They did everything I expected for them to do. We hope not to have to ever use support, but it's always great to know that a manufacturer has a good strong support system and I got to tell you this support system was top-notch they listed out for me everything that was changed out on this rifle new parts keep in mind this rifle is in the 200 serial number range so it came out fairly early I knew I was getting one of the first ones so uh, I accepted the risk that comes with being one of the first but they assured me everything has been worked out has quite a few new parts on it at this point and you're gonna see it today just as I would see it on the range because it's the first shot and instead of testing it on the 50 yard line I decided why not let's see if the range fans might like to see some 100 yard shooting with 22 long rifle so you know all about a rifle and you know I have some catching up to do I wanted to see if the Christensen arms can be just as accurate as one of my most accurate rifles at this point which is the Lithgow arms 101 You've seen that in the rabbit hole challenge or in the 22 day at the range .com challenge. Uh, and so I've got some catching up to do and I'm going to try to do it today at the 100 yard line with Lapua exact. Now that's a little bit unfair because it's at the 100 yard line. I have only put five rounds since it came back from the factory just to sight in the scope that I have at 100 yards. Enough chit chatter. 100 yards. Christian Long. Woo oh boy, I will say the bolt is much smoother now than when I had it originally. And the first five rounds did eject just fine. I've got a three inch target down range on the bottom, two inch on the center, and then the regular target. And this is a 50 yard line rimfire target, by the way. Uh, but I've got some shooting seeds down there to try to catch it better uh, on camera down range. So let's see if I can keep them off the camera. DayAtTheRange.com, always on target. Let's see where we go with Lapua Exact. Oh boy, here we go. All right, three inch target on the left. Uh, where did that go, folks? Any idea? Okay, not sure where that's hitting. Man, that's what I get for rushing and only putting five rounds through. Okay, not sure where that's going. I know it's on. Let's see, I'm going to put a spotter on the other target and see where it hits. Okay, so it should be the middle line there. As you can see here, ejecting well. I'm not making the scope adjustment. I know you guys get frustrated with me on that. 
but I'm trying to get this done right away. As you can hear, this is an active range. A lot of people waiting on it and being very patient with me. All right. Now I think I got something going. I do wish the trigger was a little bit lighter. I know it is adjustable, but it will take anything Remington 700. So I may look into that. But before I start swapping anything out, I like to use it first, shoot it first and see what I can do with it. All right, now I'm starting to get warmed up with it. I intended to put five shots per target. This is working out a little bit different. Live, active, on the range. You get it just as I get it at dayattherange.com. All right, that's it. All the ejection went fine. I've got 10 rounds in another Ruger 1022 magazine. Christensen Arm does take a Ruger 1022 magazine. We're going to move up to the two inch targets, five on each target. Get comfortable behind this thing. Pool exec may not be agreeing with this, but it's unfair. It's at the 100 yard line. Put Christians in arms under a lot of pressure here. And this is the fifth shot on this target. All right. So I think I see where it's shooting at. Let's try the other target. No chit chatter today, folks. Just getting right after it. That's four. This should be the last shot. I think that's the last shot, folks, I believe. Yeah, that's the last shot. LaPue exact um, on the 100-yard line. Now, I'm using the radius lines or the mill dot lines in the scope to account for holdover. I'm sure if it was dead on center in the crosshairs, I might do a little bit better, a little bit rushing the video because I know there's been a lot of comments out there about my experience with the Christensen arms. You can see how it's going so far. And I wanted to get a quick video out there just to see, you know what, let's take another five rounds. Just another five rounds. And uh, uh, yeah, let's take five rounds. Let's take five rounds of Lapua Exact and see on the right shoot and see target on the bottom what we can do there. That way I can see it from here and you get good view on the camera. Man, that bolt is so much smoother. All right, here we go. going home I'm going home that's it folks first shot in the red considered to be an X I'm quitting that's it nah I gotta finish out these four shots you guys know I hardly ever leave too early let's finish out these four shots got a little crosswind three Four, and last shot.
All right. What do you guys think? That's it. The Christensen Arms Ranger 22 at the 100 yard line. Your comments can be brutal at times, but I got thick skin and I can take it. I tell you, I believe the rifle is worth every single penny, even having to send it back to the manufacturer to have some parts replaced. The boat is smooth. Extraction is working well. You saw what it did on the camera at 100 yards downrange. I'm totally pleased. Tell me what you think about the Christensen Arms. And if you like it, subscribe. Tell me what you think about the 100-yard experience for you. And uh, we will get this in the dayattherange.com 22 challenge call out. Christensen Arms, Mr. Revolver Guy, signing out. All right, Range fans. Maybe that was a little clickbaitish. Short barrel rifle 22. But I will tell you, my closest friends, they know I love a long barrel revolver. No, I'm not compensating for anything. Not funny. This is a family-friendly channel, by the way. All right. They always accuse me of having a short barrel rifle 22 and that I should shoot this thing at the rifle range. Well, I'm 25 yards back from the camera. I've got some uh, 25 yards back from the target, rather, and I've got some SK Magazine, can of SK Magazine that I love to put through this eight and three eighths inch barrel 617 so no not a short barrel rifle kind of an inside joke a little bit but i am going to use the old international ransom rest with three two three inch targets down range and see what i can do from uh it's actually 27 yards away but i'm calling it 25 yards let's see just a little fun for the end of the christensen video Man, I tell you, this thing is a blast to shoot. Let's put uh, six more rounds in this thing and go at the top target and see what uh, see how we do. So Smith the West is 617, no lock, uh, produced many many ages ago. I did have this one aged. You can get the Smith and Wesson uh, manual, and uh, it'll give you a lot of information on those that collect. Those that do collect Smith & Wesson uh, revolvers will give you a lot of data. And this one here, I can't remember the exact date, so forgive me for that. But again, nothing more than a little fun. Quick video. Let's go for the top target. Man, I got to get way down low. But I tell you what, this rest, talking about steady. You know what? Maybe should, this should go into the uh, deadtherange.com 22 challenge call out. I don't know. Tell me what you think. All right, folks. This is wrapping up the Christensen Arms at 100 yards video. Uh, you'll see a review coming up soon on the Smith & Wesson 617. I've had it for a very, very long time. And now some might get pure enjoyment out of a revolver like I do, especially a long barrel revolver, 22 long rifle. Mr. Revolver Guy, truly signing out.